Hello, we are still in the back garden and we've got another backyard battle of the blades, the Ping Blueprint and up against the Telemade P730. And I've also got a nice little tip to help you with your grip if you are doing a little bit of work in your back garden during this lockdown. Stay safe, keep watching. So despite the challenges that we've been having and will continue to have for certainly for the next few weeks, uh, it has been really nice, certainly on my behalf, to spend some time, quality time with Becca and the two boys. Uh, even yesterday, Charlie managed to ride the bike for his first time. Now this was a bank holiday weekend that inevitably around the time of the Masters, I'd have been busy working. So uh, just making the most of little bits of time that I'm getting that I wouldn't normally get, watching my boys develop, um, certainly it's been very, very very eye-opening for me and I am very grateful for that. Yes, I do enjoy my job, I do enjoy working and would love to be back at the golf club looking after the members on a daily basis. However, I have to say I have enjoyed this little opportunity, uh, certainly spend more time with them and watch them grow and develop. And I'm sure you're doing something yeah. very similar. Go, Probably go, a good go. time to look at your priorities, realign them, maybe think a bit about how much what your work life balances. And if you can spend a bit more family time and certainly enjoy what you've got in whatever situation you are currently. And I know there's a lot of people that are gonna come out the other side of this COVID challenge with a slightly different perspective. I know I certainly am. One thing I'm also very grateful for is the opportunity to bring my equipment home with me and set up this little studio in the back garden. And as I mentioned earlier, today we're gonna to have a little battle. We're gonna put the Telemade P730. This is a set of blades that I've been using up against the Ping Blueprint bladed iron. And this is a little review just for any of you that might be thinking about trying out blades when we get back to the golf course. This could give you a little glimpse into maybe a bit of more forgiveness or a bit more power. Uh, we are using the Telemade TP5 Picks golf balls. <laughs> we've got a temporary net, this is a goal post with a net draped over it. We've got the GC quad and we've got the software up and running. I'm going to hit two or three shots with each and then give you a little bit of feedback about them. By the way, if you do enjoy the channel, thank you very much. If you do subscribe, really appreciate that. If you don't, hit that subscribe button. If you do like what we say, give us a little thumbs up and make any comments below. The more comments, the better. Would really appreciate that. If you do make a comment on this video, you will go into a draw to win a dozen tailor-made TP5 picks balls. So there's a gain there, make sure you do it. Pop your name, pop some kind of comments underneath here in that comments tab, but actually as many as possible. Share the video as well, I'd appreciate that. But more importantly, you're gonna win yourself some golf balls. Let's hit a few shots first of all with the uh, P730. Okay, that P730 blade is an absolute cracker. Just gotta make sure I keep these down into that net. If I do get one a little bit high, it's going down that street. A little bit off the toe, that one. Now one thing I will say about bladed clubs, if you don't hit them out the middle, out the middle you're going to get a very poor result. That was not great. A little bit more like it. Better strike that time. Hi Charlie Bear, come and say hello. We've just got a little interruption here because Charlie has just come to say a quick hello. You've been learning to ride your bike. Yeah, he's still doing good. Oh, ah, that's a stinger, that is. Okay, let's have a couple more with a 7.30. Yeah, nice solid strike. A little bit left. When you do set up to this, it is a very pure looking club. I remember my first set of blades were Wilson FG49s. Again, a very nice shaped blade. These do look like they've got a little bit of help. There's a slightly thicker top edge than my old Wilson's. I do need all the help I can get with a blade. That was a good strike. Once again, a little bit left, that's my bad. Just turn it over a fraction. Okay, that's an interesting few hits with the P730. Probably one of the nicest looking blades that I've seen. Let's go up against that blueprint. Okay, the Ping Blueprint Forged Iron. This is a cracking blade. We've had a lot of success fitting with this in the last year or so. How does it perform though up against that TaylorMade P790? Ping are not known for good looking clubs yet. This polished satin finish does look delightful. Let's see if we can do it any justice into this net. 
fraction heavy. Again, that was me rather than the club. Again, remember there is no forgiveness on a bladed club. And like I said, I need a little bit more. The clubs I've just moved to are the new TaylorMade P760s. That was a better strike. A bit more like it. Managed to keep the blade nice and square. Okay, that was a nice strike. Let's see how these numbers look, putting those two clubs against each other. Okay, let's have a little look at these numbers. So straight away, I know I hit a couple of bad shots with the first of each club. Apart from that, ball speed with the ping certainly looks a little bit higher. Spin, however, a little bit lower. Launch angle higher with the ping as well. So the ping is launching higher, lower spin, um, and giving me more distance. Uh, averaging 160 opposed to 154. If we took those two bad shots out, again, we'd still see that ping consistently. 163, 164, 168 total versus the TaylorMade, which is 157, 152. 162 carry distance which is important that tailor is at 147 uh, 143 on average with that bladed club 148 with a ping again if we took out that first number from each we'll probably see up into the high sort of 150 carry area certainly with a ping and high 140s with the tailor made that is pretty weak we know that is weak with a blade versus uh, anything like the p790 or my p760s at the moment but certainly out of those two clubs that blueprint from ping has given me a bit more power a little bit higher a bit more ball speed a bit higher a little bit lower spinning and certainly a few more yards uh, but like i mentioned before if you are interested in any kind of new technology new equipment when you start playing again make sure you go and get fitted so don't forget members and tons old links i do have all my demo wedges here at home so if you do want to use any of these over the next few weeks I'm more than happy to drop them off for you. If you haven't got any clubs at home to chip in your garden with or do any practice, then I'll, like I said, I will pop them around um, and let you have a go. Uh, also, we have got the NHS draw still going nice and strong, and this limited edition Masters golf bag is one of the prizes. It's a nice and simple five pound a ticket or five tickets for 20 pounds. Uh, get in touch with me, we'll put you into the draw. The draw will be sometime towards the end of April, and half of the proceeds are gonna go direct to the NHS as a thank you to those who are caring for us and we can't appreciate you enough um, I do feel for anyone that has family that have suffered with the coronavirus and my sympathy is with you my thoughts with you but there are lots of good stories lots of positive things coming out of it how the NHS is helping so many people and it's great news to see Boris Johnson pulled through as we expected he would do and um, all I'll say is if you are in a bad way if you're only locked down or any quarantine at the moment stay positive we will get through this together and um, I did also mention there was going to be a little grip tip here so nice and simple you are practicing in the garden you want to do a little bit of work again you might be struggling with the ball going left or right into that net into that practice net just a couple of things to check for first of all so when you put your left hand on the club just make sure the grip sits towards the base of the fingers and then this left hand comes over those three fingers should have a nice little grip on the club bring that left thumb over and it'll just sit down the right hand side of the grip when i look down over my left forearm i can see one two and almost three knuckles now that's a neutral grip some people have a weak grip some have a strong grip but i like to see maybe two to two and a half knuckles on that left hand i flip the grip up here now my right hand sits on my little finger of the right hand, just overlaps that forefinger and these three fingers sit on the club again. Nice little bit of pressure there. As I bring that club back down, just making sure I hide my left thumb under that pad of the right thumb and there's my right hand grip on the club. And there's a good bit of pressure certainly on that forefinger and thumb as we're holding the club. So I'll just go through that one more time. Let the club just slide into the base of the fingers there almost as though you're hanging that left hand and when you wrap it over you can see two to two and a half knuckles on that left hand there thumbs just down the right hand side of the grip and then i'll put my right hand on again overlapping then let the club sit back down those three fingers sit nicely on the grip and that forefinger and thumb just a little pinch this pad on the right hand just hides that left thumb and that's a nice solid neutral grip what that allows you to do is maintain a nice square blade through impact as you might have noticed from a couple of my shots before my grip sometimes gets a bit strong i end up turning the blade over so a little bit of work on my grip would certainly help if you do have any questions or any problems with your game please don't hesitate to get in touch i have got a coach now 
software which I'm using for remote coaching. So again, any members, if you haven't sent me your email address yet, please do so. I'll log you into the coach now and give you some free remote coaching over the next few weeks until we get back up and running, which like I said, I hope isn't too far away. So don't forget the giveaway. Like I said, make a comment below. Make sure you share this video as well and you're going to a draw to win a dozen Telemay TP5 picks golf balls. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your week. Please stay at home, stay safe and take care of yourselves. We'll see you all soon.